We're going to cover adding discount codes to any Webflow e-commerce project. We'll add the discounts element to our checkout page. We'll add an actual discount code. Then we'll publish and test our e-commerce site for the world to see. First part, we'll go to the ad panel and we'll look for the discounts element, which is not there. That's because we have to be on the actual checkout page. So from the pages panel, let's navigate to our checkout page. But you wanna do this for all checkout pages on your site that need discount codes. And now if we go back to the ad panel, discounts. Let's drag that element anywhere in our checkout form element. We're just placing ours underneath the order summary. Let's go over to our PayPal checkout page. On our site here, we added PayPal as a secondary payment processor. And we'll wanna make sure to copy and paste or add the discounts element here as well. This way, people can apply discount codes regardless of their payment type. But that's adding the discounts element. Let's move over to part two. Let's go over to e-commerce and from there we'll select discounts. What can we do here? Discounts. Now, we haven't added any discount codes yet, that's okay. We saved that for this part of the video, which is literally called adding discount codes. So let's go ahead and add our first discount code. Now, we can go over and generate one, which is lots of characters we're not going to ever, ever say aloud, or we can come up with a discount code ourselves, like Greamer 30. And all we have to do is select the type of discount, like 30% off the price, or we could do a specific fixed amount, like $10 off. And of course, let's verify that we want it active. Let's save our changes, we'll save the discount code. Now, we can do another one, we can add more in the future, we can come back and deactivate or delete codes whenever we want. For now, let's move on to publishing and testing this. Go to publish, publish. That's publishing. And as a bonus on our example website, when anyone's ready to check out, someone can simply add the discount code and apply it to the order. But that's it. We added the discounts element on our checkout pages, we added a discount code, and we published very quickly. Then Greamer accidentally added a freeze frame, but left the audio running. 